A very anxious start here for these two guys. They're right there together now. Most of the field's behind them, so that's a good thing. But anything can happen on the start. The fans are on their feet. The green flag is in the air. We're underway from Toledo Speedway. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. ducked behind the two of Scott Speed at the start. We know Ricky Stenhouse really needs to get up there and try to lead laps. Right now, if Scott Speed was to lead a lap, it's only uh, 18th place finish is where he would have to finish to punch the championship. So Scott Speed running third. All he needs to do, and I say that obviously with a little bit of humility there, all he needs to do is finish 17th. That's not easy to do, but Scott Speed has shown that he has been able to wheel that race car up to the front of the field pretty much at every racetrack we've been to. He sure has. There's the 37 block car of Dexter Bean right there. Dexter finished second in this race back in May or in the race back in May here at Toledo. He would love to get that first win and would love to come here. Look at Ricky Stenhouse all over the back of Scott Speed. Again, those two are not only fighting on the racetrack for maybe a win here today, but the championship. Two rookies battling it out for third on the racetrack and for the championship trophy at the end of this season. Scott Speed right now knows that if he keeps that 99 car anywhere around him, he's in good shape. Just has to stay with the 99, but obviously, as competitive as these two drivers are, they're going to want to make their way to the front. They want to win this race. Problems coming out of turn number four. The 23 is involved. That's Donnie Kelly. The caution comes out for the first time today. Yeah, David Reagan and Ken Schrader, who had to start at the back of the field, barely avoided this incident coming off turn number four. Dexter Bean is sideways over in turn four. Problems for Dexter Bean, and again, he was running second at the start of this race. This incident, happened, this incident happened way behind Dexter Bean, and then when Dexter came back around, somehow got involved in this. There you see some damage to the 38 of Luke Hall. Take another look. This is from the wall coming out of turn four. Looks like a little contact back, back there caused that spin. Then he lights them up. That, that's Parker the 77 car, Parker Klingerman. Then all the smoke back here. And you see the car stopped on the inside of the racetrack. That created a situation for Kenny Schrader and David Reagan. And both of them able to slide through, having to start at the back because of the driver change. They did not qualify those race cars. We'll come right back for the green flag. Thursday on speed for the first time ever, Barrett Jackson, the world's greatest car collector event, is live from Las Vegas. From the most exotic sports cars, one-of-a-kind prototypes, and timeless classics, all will cross the block to the highest bidder. Barrett Jackson begins Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern, live from Sin City only, right here on Speed. You know, Mike Joy will be there in Las Vegas. Right, Mike uh, loves those classic cars, loves that Barrett Jackson auction. What a wealth of knowledge he has also for virtually every type of race. No, not even race car, <laughs> yeah, but car. Exactly. Great start by Justin Lofton. Looking for win number two this season. Won that huge win not too far from here at, at MIS. Is there damage to the front of that two? It looks like the hood of that two is wrinkled up just a little bit. You know, that may have been what happened with uh, Dexter Bean. We know uh, Dexter Bean was running second when that caution flag came out and then came back around through it. Huge jump by Ricky Stenhouse. Ooh, he may have thought he went a little bit too early. He backed back off and gave the spot back to Scott back to Scott Speed. Green flag back in the air now. The final race of the 2008 season for the Arca Remax series. Your point leader Scott Speed running second. Second in the points is running third on the racetrack. That's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. You know, I wonder if they're going to be team motors because just a ooh, Ricky Stenhouse gets to the inside of Scott Speed. Oh, contact. Bumping. And the caution has come out again. We've got a problem in turn number two. And so for the second time in just a few laps, the caution has flown once again. That's Dexter Bean again with trouble. Looks like he's got a lot of damage to the rear of that Glock Chevrolet. <laughs> Remember, Dexter Bean had problems earlier. Jim, what's going on with that 37? 
Well, Dexter was among the leaders after qualifying in the top five, and he did get tapped as, by Scott Speed as they came to the caution in turn four. After much discussion with team owner and crew chief Jeff Spraker and ARCA officials, they didn't give him a spot back. He blended back in in 15th. That's where he restarted. They thought they had a very good race car. I'm guessing on this restart, Dexter certainly wanted to get back to where he thought he belonged, up with the leaders after a hard impact in the turn two wall. We'll catch him down here as he comes down pit road here shortly. Adam? And on that first spin by Dexter Bean, one of the reasons he got turned around, Scott Speed getting on the brakes, could not get woed down, and got into the tail end of the 37. Scott Speed apologized on the radio, and to confirm the damage you saw, Phil, on the front end of Speed's car was from the contact they made on track. So sure enough, a little bit of damage to the front of that race car. And again, Scott Speed looking to clinch a championship today. Take a look from on board with Brian Silas what just took place. Again, the 37 skating up the racetrack in turn two. Welcome back to Cautions Early in the Arca Remax Series Championship 200. One of those involved was the 37 of Dexter Bean. He started second on the field. Our Aaron's lucky dog goes to the 23 of Donnie Kelly. He gets a lap back, but a lot of damage to the left side of that race car. Yeah, a lot of, you're gonna see a lot of sheet metal damage at a place like Toledo Speedway. Very, very tight quarters here. Small half, 14 degree banks. Very, very challenging short track. Field coming through turns three and four. They'll get the green flag as they come out of four. It is still Justin Lofton in front of this field. Scott Speed, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., two and three. I think right now Scott Speed would love to be able to shake Ricky Stenhouse a little bit. And then remember Justin Lofton, Lofton is one of his teammates. They may allow him to lead a lap if he could get away from Ricky Stenhouse. I'm guessing Rick. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. wants to stay all over the bumper of Scott Speed or get past him. But Scott Speed is probably a little bit annoyed. There was some contact that was made earlier in this race between those two race cars. Scott Speed was on the outside. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. had to chase his race car up the racetrack and got into the back of Scott Speed, but not a lot of damage to either race car. What a great, that red car right behind that point battling duo right there is Brandon Thompson. What a terrific job he's doing thus far running fourth. Brandon right, Thompson holding on to that position. Matt Carter just behind him in the number 46. Justin Allgaier in the 16 just behind Matt Carter. And now the field is already spread out all the way around this racetrack. You see that two car of Scott Speed, the 99 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. See how close they are. Just a few moments ago, right before that caution flag came out, they were battling really, really hard. Caution flag on the racetrack. Caution one more time. We've got a problem with the 12. There was that a is... contact right there we were talking about earlier, Rick. Yeah. Looked like Ricky got a little bit loose, had to chase the car up the hill, make contact with the left rear of that Red Bull Toyota. It's Allie Owens that's struggling right now. The third caution of the day comes out. And Allie Owens has problems in turns three and four, and so she gets turned around. The field tries to get by her, and she'll try to spin back around with a little bit of damage there to the left rear. So three cautions early on in this one. We're only on lap 22 of 200, but it's almost expected when you come to a short track, and you've got so much on the line. You really do, and you've got 35 cars starting here. That's a that's a pretty big starting field for a half mile racetrack like this. We've only run 21 laps. I really don't see any of the guys running up front right now pitting. And again, of, of these 21 laps, we've probably only had 10 or 12 laps running the green. So pit strategy will come into play, but we think it'll take another 25 to 30 laps before we see any of our championship contenders make their way to pit road. 